Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to SGBC Children's Worship. I'm Auntie Grace, and I would like to welcome all of you joining us worship this morning. Whether you're at home or at church, whether you're anywhere around the world, I welcome you to join us worshiping God this morning. Let's prepare our hearts to worship. Let us bow our head and pray. Dear God, how wonderful, glory, and majestic you are. Everything you do is good and right. And with your love, you take care of all that you have made. Dear God, you are close to everyone who prays to you. You listen when we cry out to you, and you help us when we are in need. Dear God, we are blessed to be called your children. We will praise you every day, and we will praise you forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So boys and girls, this is the day that we come together to worship God. This is the day he made so that we can come worship him. So let's sing this song together to share our, our love and our praise to our very wonderful God. This is the day. We sang it last week, so it should be easy. If you've never sang it before, easy to learn. Sing with me, okay? including heaven and earth and everything in it and everything in this world whether it be mountains or sea or birds or animals or us we all worship and declare that God is great so let's sing this next song together I probably haven't sing it with you before so um, let's sing it together but this is a very easy song to sing okay
Today's main Bible verse is in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Let's read it together. He is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. In his eyes, everyone is alive. Wondering what that Bible verse means? We're delighted to have Pastor Lisa to share God's word with us this morning. Are you ready to see what God wants to teach us this morning? Let's have our hearts open and our listening ears ready, and let's welcome Pastor Lisa. Good morning, boys and girls. Now today we're going to start with a game. So the game is very similar to Simon Says. So I want you to listen carefully, okay, to my instructions, and I'm going to tell you what to do, and basically you follow. Okay, so here it goes. Let's start. So, presently I want you to put your fingers on your chin. Oh, did I catch you guys? I said I want you to put your fingers on your chin. And what did I do? I put my finger on the nose. Remember when I told you to listen to what I tell you to do and you follow. I didn't say actions, but I said in words now the second round I think right now you'll be more alert in what I have to say after I told you the trick right okay here we go I want you to put your fingers on your ears I want you to put your hand on your head I want you to sway your hand up and down oh did you catch it no, I told you to sway your hand up and down, not left and right. So did I trick you this time? Yes? No? Well, only you know. Now today, uh, I, we played a game, and the uh, goal of my, the game for me is basically I was trying to trick you, which reminds me of a Bible story that uh, we're going to be talking about, is that there was these people that wanted to trick Jesus, and those people were the Sadducees. And basically, they wanted to trick him with a question. And that question would lead him to getting him in trouble. So now let's sit back and listen to the story. Today's Bible verse is in Luke chapter 20, verse 27 to 38. The Sadducees do not believe that Jesus rise from the dead. Some of them came to Jesus with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us about a man's brother who dies. Suppose a brother leaves a wife but has no children. Then the man must marry the widow. He must provide children to carry on his death brother's name. There were seven brothers. The first one married a woman. He died without leaving any children. The second one married her. And then the third one married her. One after another, the seven brothers married her. They all died. None left any children. Finally, the woman died too. Now, then when the dead rise, whose wife will she be? All seven brothers were married to her. Jesus replied, People in the world get married and their parents give them to be married. But it will not be like that when the dead rise. Those who are considered worthy to take part in the world to come won't get married, and their parents won't give them to be married. They can't die anymore. They are like angels. They are God's children. They will be given new form of life when the dead rise. 
Remember the story of Moses and the burning bush? Even Moses showed that the dead rise. The Lord said to him, I am the God of Abraham, I am the God of Isaac, and I am the God of Jacob. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 6, He is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. In his eyes, everyone is alive. Now, as you were hearing the Bible story, the Sadducee was asking a question. Whose wife is this person would be? Is it the first son, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, or the seventh? Either way, God answers, he would get in trouble. But he knew that they were going to trick him. So what did he do? He actually saw a more bigger picture than them. Now, Jesus mentioned two points. Now, the first point he mentioned that when we're in heaven, right, when God's children are in heaven, basically we're not dead, right? We're alive, which is true because Jesus, he died. But then after that, three days later, he rose again. Now, secondly, Jesus mentioned that it doesn't matter whether you're married the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh husband, or not even married at all. It doesn't matter. God still loves us no matter what. What kind of background that we're in. Isn't that great? Jesus loves us no matter what. Now, how do we know this? Well, as I always say, we got to get to know him through his word, through talking to him like a friend, not only that, to share God's love to other people. God said, if you haven't read the Bible from cover to cover, from the beginning to the end, there's main, there are two main goals, two main points God wants to, us to always remember, is to love God and to love others. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much, Lord, for just loving us of who we are and not... Uh, our status or not how much we have in our lives Lord Lord I pray Lord that help us to love you the same way Lord to love you and not only that to love other people Lord teach us Lord sometimes it's hard for us to love others and sometimes it's hard to love you but Lord I pray Lord you are the God of all wisdom and Lord I know that you when we ask Lord that you will give us Lord, according to your will, Lord. And we know that this is your will because you want us to love you and to love others. Thank you so much for listening to our prayers. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Lisa, for reminding us Jesus loves us no matter what and no matter who we are. How wonderful that is. Boys and girls, let's join me to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So next Tuesday, November the 8th, is Natalie nine years old birthday. And we're going to wish her a happy birthday. Natalie, happy birthday to you. May you have a wonderful day with your friends and your families. And may God continue to bless you and guide you every single day. Happy birthday. So boys and girls, this is our worship for this week. Let's continue to love one another and to show God's love to the people around us. And I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.